everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Jim is now getting ready to go to work and as you can see here, the mailbox is no longer sparkling. So after I filmed the last episode, I asked for help on my social media accounts because I had no idea why the mailbox was sparkling <laughs> like that. And so a fellow simmer told me that it can be a gift. I thought it was a gift on the mailbox because Jim is always getting gifts, getting letters and sometimes there are also the bills. So I made sure that Jim collected everything on the mailbox and if you remember the last episode Jim did that and the mailbox was sparkling during the entire episode. I don't know why. And after I uh, edited that episode, a fellow simmer told me that it can be a gift that someone sent me over the Sims 3 store. But fun fact, I was never able to log in into the Sims 3 store. I don't know why. I don't know. I was not able to see if someone sent me a gift over there or not. So I am glad that the mailbox is no longer sparkling. Jim has, is at work now and as you can see, there are the baby sharks that I was talking in the previously episode in the water with the fishes and I am fine with the baby sharks. They are actually cute. They are around the other fishes. Everything is fine. But when it comes to the other sharks that we saw at the Rocky Reef scuba diving spot, it's a completely different story. From my understanding, one of the new features in the Sims 3 Island Paradise is that those sharks can actually hurt your sim <laughs> in a really bad way. And I was very happy that Jim was able to get out of that situation. He is fine, he is working, he is feeling okay. <laughs> because it will be very bad after all the episodes that we have right now if something that bad happened to Jim. So there's that. <laughs> like I said, the baby sharks are fine with me. Sometimes sims are in the water swimming next to them and it's fine. There's a sim that collapsed on the sand. Jim is going to give that sim CPR and so far so good. Nothing too chaotic. No, there are a couple of sims in the water but uh, this is the first one that actually ne needs help. So it's, it's fine. <laughs> Take a look at the seagulls in the sims 3. They seem to have more details than the birds <laughs> on the sims 4. I don't know if it's just me. I think in Sims 4 the birds look a little strange, but in here they look fine. So Jim wanted to play in the ocean, but he can't. He's working. What are you doing, Jim? <laughs> Go back to work. And there are a couple of Sims in the water, others in the sand. More Sims are actually arriving to the area, but Jim is fine for now. Nothing too crazy. and. Some of them seem to be having a great time here. It's fall, but there are still so many sims in the area, which means that Jim can have a lot of work. Right now, he is the eagle eye. He is at level 8 in the lifeguard career, and he is almost at the end of the lifeguard career. So I think in the next day of work, because he has work tomorrow, he will be able to get the promotion that he needs. I think it will be, he will become the Ulgard. It's the name of the level 9 of the lifeguard career. So far, so good. He still has to rescue uh, many sims to complete the lifetime wish. Because for that it only matters the ones that are in trouble in the water. And there's a sim in the water that needs Jim attention <laughs> right now. So Jim will rescue that sim as fast as possible. <laughs> and as I was saying, he still needs to work on his lifetime wish. Oh no, there's a sim on the way. Move on <laughs> so Jim can get there fast. He is now able to help that other sim that needed help. So Jim, he's already making a lot of money. 
The only thing that I am not happy about his houseboat is the bathroom. I need to work on that. It's the only thing. I, I believe I only changed the shower. But he needs a new toilet and a new sink. The ones that he has have been there since the beginning of his let's play. And they are always having issues. They are always breaking. Jim is on the sand. And I think that Sim will need CPR. He was in the water for a little bit longer. And the Sim that was swimming in front of Jim didn't exactly help it, the situation. <laughs> Jim wasn't able to get as fast as we wish for him to be. So that Sim really needs CPR. And I'm taking a look around. There's a lady on the water that uh, seems like she needs help. And she does. <laughs> Jim now has to rescue that lady on the water too. He's done with the CPR. That Sim say, said thanks for rescue me. <laughs> so now Jim will go as fast as he can to help that lady that is in the water. He's almost there. And the other ones are having fun, like playing in the ocean. It's so funny to see. Like, no one really cares what Jim is doing and the, uh, about the Sims that are in trouble and that need help. Everyone is just doing their thing. <laughs> so Jim will survey the area again. Since he was so fast to rescue that lady, I think she doesn't need CPR. Sometimes they only need CPR on when they are a lot longer in the water, when Jim is not able to get them that fast. So Jim is back to survey the area. I am not, I will not use the lifeguard run at least in this part because there are a lot of sims in this beach and guard run, it's more like a slow motion type of run. It kind of reminds me of the opening in the Baywatch TV show. I think it's probably inspired by that. And like the opening is just lifeguards running around and in slow motion and stuff. So I think the point was that kind of in the game. I don't really know for sure, but it seems like that way. So Jim is running as fast as he can and we will not use that uh, running style, I guess, in this episode. Only one hour left for the end of Jim's workday. So he will now work on his charisma skill. He will be talking to the Sims on the beach and I will keep an eye on the sand and on the water to see if anyone needs help. But working on his charisma skill, it's also a good thing for his lifeguard career. I also spotted a sea shell on the sand. And once the working day is over for Jim, I will make sure for him to collect it. Sometimes they worth a little bit of money. And Jim can sell them or can, uh, like, collect them and display it at his houseboat. I don't know for sure what he is going to do with this one, but he will collect it, the sea shell still. So now he's talking with that sim. He is telling all about rescue stories, beach safety as always. And now there are a lot, there are no longer so many sims in here, it's almost the end of the day. So Jim will now collect the seashell that I was just talking about. And I wanted for him to snorkel or to swim a little bit before he goes home. Uh, but I don't know what happened. Maybe the water is too cold because now it's fall. And he was not able to be on the water for that long. Which is kind of funny because... During the work day, he wanted to be uh, on the ocean, like play in the ocean and relax on the water. <laughs> but he was not able to because he was obviously working. And now that he has the time, finally, he doesn't want to be on the water. <laughs> it's a bit funny. So 
he will just go home. It's the best option, I believe. And he will take care of his needs. So far, it was a good day. Hold on, Jim made so much money. I keep checking to see if there's any notifications, but I don't know why he received so much money right now. Like, I don't understand. There hasn't been any fire or anything like that at his house. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I am happy for him, don't get me wrong. Yeah, and this money will be very helpful to, to redo his bathroom. But at the same time, I have no idea why this happened and why he got all that money all of the sudden. But I am actually happy and I'm not sure if with that money Jim will still have the, this houseboat or if he should move to a different house and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments if you think that Jim should upgrade his uh, living conditions after he got all that money all of the sudden <laughs> or if he sh should be in the houseboat still. In a way, it makes sense for him to be on the houseboat because of his career and all of that. And he loves to be in the beach. He loves the island and everything related to the island. But at the same time, with all that money, I think he might go to a different area of the island and maybe have a different house. So he will be able to have his own car and stuff like that because... In this houseboat, like as cool as it is, there are some limitations, as you can tell. And he is not able to have his own car and stuff like that. There are not enough area to do that. So I am thinking that uh, he might actually move to a house somewhere on the island. I need to check if there are any house available that he can pay for it. <laughs> I think by selling the things that he has on the houseboat plus the money that he just got out of nowhere, once again, <laughs> I don't understand it. He will be able to be just fine in another area. Let me know what you think in the comments if it will be fun for Jim to move to a house, to actually own a car or a bicycle or something like that. He is always taking the taxi taxi boat and the taxi on the mainland. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Another cool thing about the Sims 3 is that the alarm clock is actually functional and you can set the alarm for your sim. In the Sims 4 we don't have that. I mean we have alarm clocks but they are not functional. Maybe in a future update they will do something about that because I think it's really cool that you can set an alarm for your sim. I don't remember if in The Sims 2 they were able to do that. I honestly don't remember. I have The Sims 2 installed on my computer but uh, I only did a couple of short videos for YouTube last year when, mostly when Don Lotario and I'm not sure, I don't remember a couple of things from The Sims 2, to be honest. But uh, I can check that if you want to. I am actually thinking of, in the future, doing a Let's Play with The Sims 2. It's still my favorite game from the franchise. And we will see about that. <laughs> right now, Jim's hunger is a bit low, so he needs to eat really fast. And then he, his fun is also not doing so great. But at the same time, he's very tired and he has work. So I think he, he will go to sleep after having a meal because it's getting late. It's, so it's actually a bit late for Jim, for like a sim that needs to wake up early in the morning to go to work. So we will see about that. And he kept getting those calls like uh, with the challenges and stuff. But he hasn't done any of them <laughs> since we started this Let's Play. I remember that in the first episode I said yes to one of them. But to be honest, he didn't have much time to do them. Because he had to work on the skills to improve his career and such and there was no time for that to be completely honest but maybe 
until the end of the let's play he will actually do one of those activities <laughs> just just you know to see how that goes it has been such a long time since i played sims 3 that i am actually curious to see some of those things because i don't quite remember them <laughs> to be completely fair i only played the sims 3 base game and the world adventures expansion pack at the time that it was released and I kept going back to Sims 2 actually at that time so I, there's a lot of things that I don't actually recall about Sims 3 and we are learning as we go <laughs> in this let's play I also didn't have the Sims 3 Island Paradise at the time that it was released but it has been such a nice expansion pack i am in love with everything still i'm so glad i got this expansion pack on sale this year in the beginning of the summer and i hope next year i can still do something related with this expansion pack on my channel we will see about that Obviously, it takes some time, and as I said, sometimes I do need to do research because I don't remember all of the things. And once again, if you want to help me, there's always the comment section, and I love to see your opinions, and maybe you have more experience in The Sims 3, so feel free to let me know if there's anything that you want to see, or if you have any idea to make the let's play better. If he has the time he will watch a bit of TV before going to work because it's fun. It's actually like it's not too low, it's somewhere in the middle but I hope he can improve his fun so he will be on a better mood for the, the work day I guess so he will be able to get that promotion today. Because Jim got all that money, I'm not sure anymore if I should renovate his bedroom or not. Because now I am actually thinking that Jim should move to a different house, to a different part of the island, maybe to explore it a little more. So I don't think I will like spend his money on the bathroom. Once again, if you have any idea, let me know, please. <laughs> because I honestly don't know what I should do next. I think it will be fine for him to move to a different house and to a different area but at the same time I don't know it's a bit tricky in <laughs> this let's play and Jim will now pay the bills before he forgets it or I forget it so it's fine and Jim will mop the floor and then finally watch a bit of TV but he's about to go to work so he will not be able to watch that much TV before he has to go to work it's a shame but he had a lot of things going on before and he was not able to so there's also the newspaper, but we will take care of the newspaper later on. Now he really needs to go to work and I mess it up <laughs> right here. You will see why obviously I will speed up, but it was bad. So he was running and I thought he was going to the Sparkling Sands Beach, which is right next to his house. Turns out he didn't take the taxi that he usually takes to get to the other areas of the island and he was running the entire time to go to the, the working place today <laughs> and I was not able to fix it like maybe I should have cancelled him running and maybe try to click option in the Sims 4 it works like when you need your sim to go to work and he's missing it for some reason you click in the icon of the work and he will be able to go in here i didn't test that and he was running for that area for a long time obviously i speed up this part but it was really bad like i wish this would help his athletic skill but it didn't which is even worse, it didn't help and by the time he got to the beach there was already Sims needing his help 
so it was really bad. What a bad start for this working day. I mean, I don't know what <laughs> what is going on. Like, my game was having a bit of issues during this episode. I had to edit a lot, so you are not able to tell. But it was not good. But I don't know for how long they have been waiting for Jim to get there. So this this is not good. <laughs> so Jim is finally giving CPR to one of the Sims. And of course, there's already one in the water that also needs help. The day of work has not been good. <laughs> I keep checking to see if anyone else needs help. But so far, it's not very, very good. There's another Sim on the sand that also needs help. I don't know how Jim will be able to do all this on the mod that I tested uh, to make an active lifeguard career in The Sims 4. The lifeguards had other co-workers on the area, but then again there was some kind of issue with the mod, you were not able to do anything. I think the idea for that mod was to have something like this, something like we had in The Sims 3, but um, the creator of the mod was saying that he had to work on that a bit more. I really hope that next year the mod will be finally working and I am able to test it in The Sims 4 if we don't get any pack uh, refresh or something like that. Because I believe that some of the uh, careers could be active and we could be get uh, active careers over updates. But we'll see about that. This, this work there is a mess. Honestly, from from the start that he was running from from his houseboat to here, and my game was glitching, like you can't tell because I edited a lot of things, so it won't be um, annoying. Because trust me, when I was playing the game, it was a bit of annoying. Not good for Jim or for the Sims that are on this beach today. <laughs> so Jim will talk to that Sim a little bit. Because I really hope he gets the promotion today, but with all these things happening, I'm not sure anymore. It's so wild, <laughs> and at least he is working on his charisma skill, and that usually helps with uh, improving the lifeguard career. So let's hope for the best. <laughs> Again, I don't know, this has been wild. Not a great start for sure. And right now, no one needs help. It's almost the middle of the work day. and his has been too much already so I really don't know. But the lady that was on the sand is now playing in the water and she seems fine, like nothing bad actually happened. It's more so that maybe this will affect Jim's uh, promotion, the one that I was hoping for him to get today. Like I don't Right now I just don't know what to think because he's so close to get to level 9 in the lifeguard career. So it's a shame that things like this happen, but uh, I don't know. It's just the way it is. Yes, Jim finally got the promotion. It says congratulations. Jim has been conferred the new title of the old guard by the Isle of Paradise Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. You are a literal superhero. <laughs> I think it's so funny that that word. With this much experience under your belt, you would been, wouldn't even be made fun of for wearing a belt with your swimsuit. <laughs> Except for that tattoo artist that was making fun of Jim a couple episodes ago. <laughs> so Jim is obviously making more money and the work schedule is still the same as always. But it's good. He's at level 9 of the lifeguard career, so he's very, very close to the end. I don't know if he should retire or not afterwards. We will see about that. But I'm assuming there are only two or three episodes left of this Let's Play. If there's anything that you want to see from the Sims 3 Island Paradise, let me know in the comments because we are almost at the end and then I will move on to, different let, to a different Let's Play. So this is actually very good for Jim. I am very, very happy for him. 
let's see what the future brings to to Jim. <laughs> so far, so good. Everyone seemed to be having a great time on the, this beach and no one is in trouble. I keep checking to see if anyone is in trouble, but it's almost the end of the workday for Jim. Now, I am also concerned about how Jim is going back home after the workday is completed because I don't want for him to run out the way to his houseboat. I want I want for Jim to snorkel a bit a little bit afterwards. Yesterday he was not feeling it. Like during the workday he wanted to go in the water and then as soon as his shift ended he didn't want to go in the water. Like you what's going on? Like you need to work <laughs> you can't play in the ocean while working. That's not That's not good, Jim. But now he's, he is actually able to go in the water, but not for a very long time. And my game was having a bug that he continued to swim. This, this episode is a nightmare. So that's actually it for today's episode. I hope you enjoy it. As always, if you are into Sims builds, storytelling, if you enjoy Sims in general, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in the next episode.